Hey guys, this is Bradley Cipriano from the IO Funds. I'm here today to talk about three juggernauts that reported this week, Microsoft, Tesla, and Apple. It's important to monitor what these companies are saying and doing because they have ramifications for the entire market. I'll start by discussing the companies in aggregate, and then I'll get into the key details from their earnings reports. All right, we cover a lot in this short video, so let's get into it. All right, guys, to just give you an idea of how large these companies are, in the last three months, Microsoft, Tesla, and Apple reported over $190 billion in sales, and in the last 12 months have reported an aggregate $600 billion in sales. Now, if we go to the most recent quarter, these three companies reported $56 billion in profits. Now, that's a huge number, and that's larger than the market cap of 70% of the S&P 500. So clearly what these companies do and what they invest in has ramifications for the entire market. Now, we don't know exactly what these three companies are investing in, but we can tell that they are investing in the future. Capital expenditures increased 36% year over year to $44 billion in aggregate. Now, this is a great sign and shows that these three companies expect growth to continue as they expand their capacity. Now, to get into specific results, Microsoft was the first to report and sales came in strong and beat estimates after growing 20% year over year for the third consecutive quarter. Sales were driven by cloud, which increased over 32% year over year. This is a bullish sign and suggests that cloud is still an area of hyper growth. Switching over to Apple, Apple's results came in strong as sales grew 11% year over year to over $123 billion, a record high. Service revenue also increased 24% year over year to $20 billion, giving it an annualized run rate of over $80 billion. This is impressive because its service revenue is high margin. Gross margins were 73%. So as service revenue continues to increase, cash flows are going to be robust. But cash flows are already at a record high. In the last 12 months, free cash flow was over $100 billion. Finally, getting to Tesla. Tesla sales increased 65% year over year during the quarter, and the company is nearing 1 million cars produced a year. Elon guided that sales will comfortably grow over 50% in 2022. However, the company is still experiencing supply chain issues, particularly around semiconductors. Tesla also reported $2 billion in profits following two quarters of over a billion dollars in profits, which was a major milestone because on a cumulative basis, the company is now above break even. So this really highlights that the massive investments that these technology companies do up front can yield strong returns over time. So this analysis highlights that these three juggernauts are in great shape and that the broader technology landscape is positioned well to continue to grow heading into 2022. This was just a sample of the type of analysis we do with the IO funds. Make sure to subscribe to our free newsletter below and give me a follow on Twitter along with my company where we provide timely updates on tech growth stocks.